Now there's no shortage of insane personalities that work at Wizards of the Coast. Now I'm not talking about overly creative. I'm talking about literally violent, um, aggressive personalities. And I thought I had run into one of the worst, and that was, of course, A.E. Marling, a flavor text writer for Wizards of the Coast, who wrote a guide on how to flag down my Patreon account. And to all uh, accounts currently, it's been successful. My Patreon was taken down. Uh, yeah, but that did not stop me from spreading the good word, thankfully. He is a uh, insane, far, far leftist ideologue, supporter of Antifa and things of that. If you view his Twitter feed, which I highly suggest you don't because the level of derangement syndrome is off the charts. But uh, I found a new Wizards of the Coast employee to take the cake with another absolutely moronic tweet. Now, before I get into this, right, I know a lot of people are going to be upset. But Jeremy, what's wrong with being a Democrat? Nothing. I consider myself a Democrat for a very long time. Point is, I don't care what your politics are. I don't care what anybody's politics are. But it always seems like these ultra far left people. Now, I have many liberals, many, many, many liberal friends, and they are not insane. The vast majority of liberals, I would say, are good people who want good things. People like A.E. Marling and now Christopher Perkins of Wizards of the Coast are not what I would consider good people who want good things. They want only misery for others because in my opinion they themselves are miserable with whom they've become and if you're familiar with this stupid high school photograph situation that happened in wisconsin it's a little bit near and dear to my heart because this is where i live uh, some high schoolers uh, took a picture either uh, allegedly sig heiling i don't know if they were if they weren't it doesn't really matter because everybody does stupid things when they're in high school what they did is not illegal we have freedom of speech this is an extension of that it was at best a joke and at worst a bad joke but what should of course the consequences for a joke you didn't like be this is my primary problem with a lot of people in the gaming industry who find themselves on the ultra far left is that they are the new Puritans. They are the new censors. They are insane. Okay. So a bunch of high schoolers got together. We're taking a picture and uh, whether or not they were waving and they got captured mid wave or they were sig heiling. I don't care. Doesn't matter. But what do you think? Uh, a uh, very popular Wizards of the Coast employee would have to say about that. Let's take a look what Christopher Perkins said. No college should accept them. No employer should hire them. This picture should haunt them for the rest of their lives. Their futures should be as dead as their souls. This is about 25 high school kids who got involved in some picture. Now, again... Like I said, there are conflicting reports on whether or not they were doing it or they're making the who super scary okay sign. Nobody cares. This is the absolute peak absurdity. It's absolute peak concern trolling. Christopher Perkins doesn't really care about this. The reason he had this opinion is right here to get those digital backpats because people that rely on these sorts of things are hollow inside. When you have nothing going for you in real life, you have nothing of value to add in real life. You're not feeling fulfilled. Uh, people these days seem to flock to social media to look to fill the void in their soul with digital backpats. It's a pathetic, uh, hilariously shallow endeavor, but people like A.E. Marling of Wizards of the Coast, Christopher Perkins of Wizards of the Coast, and many other people that I've profiled in the past, I'm actually thinking of making a insane Wizards of the Coast employee profile series because there's at least eight people off the top of my head that have tweeted out or said things on Facebook that are absolutely absurd. Now, maybe you might say, look, and by the way, before, you know, anybody who's watching this video in good faith uh, has made it this far, but people that just want to be offended by my opinions have already left and left their dislike. 
I'm not saying the guy needs to be fired for this. He, just like these teenagers, has his right to an opinion. And I have my right to my opinion. My opinion is his opinion is absolute trash. His overreaction shows some uh, uh, a deep-rooted hatred of young males, in my opinion, which is interesting because the company he works for, uh, his demographic is about 90 to 95% young male. So I wonder how effective he'll be at his job uh, with this deep-rooted hate of what would appear to be his own customers. I would be willing to bet there's a couple of Magic players in this picture. I guess I don't know that for sure, but uh, Christopher Perkins, you know, I appreciate your right to your opinion, and I thought I would take a minute to highlight uh, just, you know, the, a pretty typical personality at Wizards of the Coast, in my opinion, and you should let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to continue to profile some of the more insane people at Wizards of the Coast, and if you have any tips on people I should be keeping an eye out for, I'll be happy to do so. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and screw you, Chris Perkins, you insane moron. Thank you.